Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. This is our sixth and seventh Sidra slash Aliyah for our Torah portion of Pincus. This is Friday and Saturday's portion rolled into one, and it's from Numbers chapter 28, verse 16, all the way to chapter 29, verse 39. But I want to read uh, um, uh, chapter 29, verse 35. Now, to put this thing in perspective here, Numbers chapter 28 and 29 is like Leviticus 23 in that it's a recitation of God's calendar, God's Moedim, God's appointment times, God's times where he puts on the calendar, this is a day and a time that I'm marking a date with my people. I'm going to be here at this specific place at this specific time, and it's left up to us whether we're going to go on a date with our Lord or whether we're going to stand him up and he's going to be sitting at the dinner table alone for hours. And so in Leviticus, or uh, I'm sorry, in Numbers chapter 29, verse 35, it says, on the eighth day, the eighth day of what? The eighth day of Sukkot, the eighth day of the Feast of Tabernacles. On the eighth day, you were to have a festive assembly. You were not to do any ordinary work. This eighth day of Sukkot is become known as Simchat Torah, which means rejoicing in the Torah. In other words, rejoicing in the word of God. It is the time where we end the year's reading of the Torah and we finish up the Torah reading in Deuteronomy and we start back over again in Genesis. And it is a great celebration where the Torah scroll is clothed, crowned and decorated. And the people of the synagogue take the Torah scroll and dance around the synagogue and the aisles with it. And it's like they're having a party. They're rejoicing in God's word. How often do we rejoice in God's word? Do we get up and say, yes, I get to read God's word today? Or is like, oh, it's time to do my devotions. Well, okay, I, you know, I, I want God to be pleased with me. And yeah, I, I guess I want to know God's word. Or are you just excited and just can't wait to dig in to God's word to see what fresh bread he has for you that day? Well, rejoicing in the Torah is all about a celebration of God's word. It's all about a celebration of God giving his divine commandments, his divine instructions, his divine expectations, his divine inspiration to his people. He didn't have to say a word to us, but he, he you know, we, we've got enough in creation to know that there's a God. But we don't have enough in creation to know how to get to that God. And that special revelation, his spoken word, his written word, is just that special revelation. It's just the reason why we, we rejoice in the Torah. We rejoice in God's word because it shows us how to have a relationship and fellowship with the God of this universe, our creator, the most high God. So it is a rejoicing in the word of God. And Simchat Torah just doesn't have to be on the eighth day of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. Rejoicing in the Torah can be an everyday affair, and I do my best to try to make it so, and I hope you do too. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavuotov.